Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 1st of 2022. Well, it is titled Leaning Tower Active Sun. So what do we see here? Well, looking out toward sunset in the direction of the leaning tower of Pisa off there to the left hand side, we do see our sun. And the sun as it sets will of course change color a little bit as we're looking through more and more atmosphere. So as it gets closer to the horizon, it will look redder and redder as all the shorter wavelengths have been scattered out. What we're also seeing on here are some of the large sunspot regions there and you can actually see those on the surface of the sun. Uh, they're not generally visible to the naked eye but some very large ones can be seen especially towards sunset when you're able to actually see the sun. So of course it's never good to try to look at the sun directly especially when it's high in the sky as it's overwhelmingly bright and you would not be able to see the sunspots in cases like that. But here in this nice image we can see a couple of those sunspots and the sun is getting more active now. And in fact, one of these sunspot regions didn't release a number of solar flares recently that have been striking Earth over the last few days. And that gives us some space weather that causes the aurora. So we'll get much stronger aurora. And we did see uh, some of that over the last few days with intense aurora at very northerly latitudes, where particles ejected by those sunspots then travel to Earth follow along our magnetic field lines and strike Earth's atmosphere where they come into the atmosphere. And that's near the north and south magnetic poles. So it'll give us some very interesting views here on Earth. However, these types of flares can be even more disruptive. And that we had a very powerful flare that caused a radio blackout because of the intense amount of energy coming from our sun. When one of the energy from one of these flares hits us that can actually disrupt communications for a time. So we can actually get some disruptions as well. In addition to seeing the nice Aurora, we can also get disruptions caused when those flares happen to come in the direction of Earth. Now, of course, most of the time they don't. They have to be aimed almost directly at Earth in order to strike us. And the vast majority of the time there's flares that will go off just off into space in random directions and not come anywhere near Earth. But as the sun gets more active over the next few years, we will see more and more large sunspot regions like this. And that means there'll be more and more flares and coronal mass ejections that come in the direction of Earth. So that was our picture of the day for April 1st of 2022. It was titled Leaning Tower, Active Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.